money in order to uh, to consider the the timetable. We are going to begin in case the the last presenter come. He will, he will explain his uh, work at the end of the session. So I am Rafael Molina and I am one of the coaches of this track 11. The name of the track is Smart Learning. Uh, let me present some uh, facts about the track and then I will give you the word for uh, the presentation. Okay. Last year was the first edition of this track and we began with a uh, definition of what smart learning is. Well, in fact, smart learning is a, it's a term that is developing, so there is not a fixed uh, definition, but we could say <coughs> we, we use this uh, definition with, which says that smart learning can be defined as a learning model based on technology that can detect the students' individual situation, context, learning, needs, style, and the state of the learning process dynamically and act according to it. So it's quite wide. And in this track, there, is, there are works about many uh, issues surrounding this question. In fact, I would say that the uh, linking concept is the use of artificial intelligence algorithms and techniques to improve learning in a way. Okay? We have different uh, points of view. We know that in a, in, in a track it's very difficult to establish just a very concrete uh, subject. So it's quite wide, but it's around this point. So I wanted to uh, explain which is the international situation now about artificial intelligence in education. That is, it's a, a term that is being very uh, used today. We have AI algorithms around us every day, and we we found it in the, the, the press. Okay, so. I want to, to consider this uh, question of sustainable development goals that we must know. This is a uh, this is a plan of the UN, and there is a fourth goal, which is about quality education. It is uh, taking a quality education with the foundation of improving people's life and sustainable development. In this goal, the artificial intelligence techniques can have a very interesting role. This is so, and you can see that in the last year, there has been a wide movement about this question. For instance, in December last year, the European Union presented the artificial intelligence plan for this year and next year. <coughs> uh, this plan was to ensure complementarity and synergies between actions at national and European level, level, maximize the impact of and spread the benefits of artificial intelligence across Europe, and provide a strategic framework for national artificial intelligence strategies. As a consequence of that, many European countries have developed their own artificial intelligence strategies. For instance, France, Finland, uh, Sweden, uh, the Baltic uh, States, uh, United States, Denmark, Spain, and so on, they all have been developed their own plans. But not only at European level, but also at world level, with uh, countries uh, with different cultures and different uh, background, like 
the United States, China, Canada, Korea, and so on. So the artificial intelligence question is a hot. More completely, there is also a very interesting uh, report which is called Artificial Intelligence in Education Challenges and Opportunities for Sustainable Development, edited by the UNESCO. That says that the artificial intelligence uh, is a technology capable of modeling many aspects of social interactions, of course, of education. There is a new kitchen and learning solutions that are beginning to be produced and tested, and it detects three main roles of the artificial intelligence in education. The AI as a tool for learning, the AI as a learning objective to be included in the curricula, and the AI to assist the governance of education. <coughs> Smart learning is new. It's a set of different tools devoted to improve learning in the widest sense. If we see the teaching learning process, process as it is, I would say that the student at the beginning of the process has a, a complete level of skills at the end process is have been to the skills and the knowledge. There are many aspects included in this process. The teachers, the technologies, the resources, the institution, and so on. In all these parts of the, of the uh, process, sorry for the mistake, there are that data. When there are data, you can make analysis, analysis of this method, this data. So this is the this is the role of artificial intelligence in this process to process all this data to do what? I I have uh, divided all the possible solutions in three aspects three main aspects. The smart learning tools to help the student, the smart learning tools to help the teacher, but also smart learning advances to get to know the student. Okay? And in these three elements are the, four, the five papers that we are presenting here. Those are the papers. We have two a paper on mainly as and many tools to help the student. Uh, this is a this is my classification. Okay, maybe the authors are not don't agree with me, but this is the this is how I have considered all the papers of the of the uh, session. So we have two papers devoted to help the student mainly. We have another paper which is to help both the student but also the teacher. There is another paper which is focused on the teacher. And finally, there, there is another paper focused on getting to know the student. How is the student, how he behaves, he behaves and how uh, he learns. Okay? And this is a, a map of this session. As conclusions, <coughs> what? Smart learning and intelligence technologies that help in learning, especially through adaptation and personalization. And we have found, we have here five diverse papers with a common factor. They are technologies at the service of the learners, to know them better, to help them in their learning, or to have the teachers in their teaching. Okay? I hope that this session will be as interesting as it was for me to be.